This video will show you how to add products to a preferred customer group in the Uniform Market Store system. In the previous video, we saw how we could create a preferred customer group called Bob's Dental Group. So when I click on and log in to uh, this store using Bob's Dental as the password, this is how I'm greeted. As you can see, though, there are no products yet assigned to Bob's Dental Group. Let's go do that now. You log into your store system and from here you click on preferred customer. As you can see this is Bob's dental group that we created down here. Then you up here though you click on products. Then you select the preferred group that you wish to assign products to. Hit submit. We're now editing Bob's dental group in the current public store. If we want to see the products that we've already assigned to Bob's Dental Group, or at any point see the products we've assigned, we check this box and we click Search. As you can see, there are no products assigned, but we already knew that. Now let's assign one. So I'm going to uncheck this from my search filter. I'm going to search for a product that I know is Style 4051. I'm going to search by Product ID, and I'm going to click Search. It now shows me this product right here, the Julie Top. I want to assign the Julie Top to be in Bob's Dental, so I select it right here. In Bob's Dental, we did not assign a generic or a general discount rate to apply to all products. I know, though, that I want to give them a 10% discount on this product, so I do enter 10 right here, and then I assign it to the group. That's it. It is now assigned to Bob's Dental Group. It's also assigned to the other group called Your Preferred Group. That's just coincidence. Now if I go back to the front end, I can click again on Bob's Dental Group and see what I've just done. Now as you can see, there is a product assigned. I click on that product and you'll see that it starts at $25, but because I'm a preferred customer and this product has been assigned to me, I receive 10% off after I add it to the shopping cart. The next concept that many customers use the preferred customer group module for though is not just assigning a percentage discount. Many want to create a copy of a product and change the pricing to be something very specific. Let's take a look at how we would do that using this product again as an example. In order to make a copy of the product Julie and change the pricing of it, I'm going to need to go to a different area of the system. I'm going to click up here on products. I'm going to go here to active products. And now it held on to the search that I just did in the other area as a courtesy, 4051. If it isn't showing the product that you want, then you would just redo the search however you want to find the product that you wish to make a copy of. In this case, we have the Julie right here. So I'm clicking on it. And now here's the copy button right here. So now I click copy. Next, it asks for what I want to append at the end of the product ID in order to understand what the copy of the product is. So rather than just the generic underscore copy, I'm going to say underscore Bob's Dental. That way I'll always remember why I made a copy of this product. Click Copy. Be careful to wait for the product to finish copying. Sometimes, depending on the number of SKUs, it may take a minute or two for it to copy the product. In this case, I know that it is, the copy is complete because I see the product ID has shifted to be underscore Bob's Dental right here. The next step is very important. Many of the products in your store system will have a subscription status of active. In order to edit this product and fully control it and make sure that it doesn't get updated on the next catalog update service from Uniform Market, I need to fully lock the product. So I check the full lock box here and I click update. You'll notice that once I do that I can now edit lots of different things about the product that I couldn't edit when it was in an active subscription mode. For instance on the general data here I want to now edit the general data price and instead of it being $25 I want it to be $19.95. So I change the price right here and I hit update. That is the first step to updating the price on a copied product specific for a preferred customer. There are two more steps. One is to edit the general SKU prices and the third is to double check the prices that appear in the actual stores. The Uniform Market Store system has a cascading pricing system. 
It goes from general data to general SKUs to stores. When you do a full lock, it typically will lock it at every level because we're really not sure yet where you want to update and lock and change everything. So we lock it all. So we've first adjusted this price. Now we're going to go to the general SKUs and we're going to change the prices there. If I scroll to the right here, you'll see that these prices are all locked as well. You can tell that the general SKU prices are locked because the little lock box next to it here is locked. This is locked, this is unlocked. You can change everything in a column by using the check plus or check minus. In this case I'm going to use the check minus and it's unlocking everything. Be sure that you're looking at all of the SKUs on one page. I happen to have already set my items per page to 200 a second ago here and it held on to that and so I'm seeing all of the SKUs on one page. If you see multiple pages worth of SKUs, you may want to change the number to a higher number so you can edit them all at once. So I went over here and I said I unchecked all of the SKUs. I used the check minus. Now I'm going to hit update and because the SKUs are no longer locked at a price level in the general SKU area, the system will go through and it'll use the general SKU the general data price of 1995 and it will use that for all of the general SKUs. So it now, because of what I just did, changed all of the prices to 1995. Those of you who may have noticed this first SKU here is a 3XL and it was at a higher price than the other SKUs. So as you go through and do this, you may want to be more conscientious of how you're pricing. In this case I just changed it all to 1995. If the customer that you're selling to does require still that pricing should be higher on your oversizes, you can lock these back and change the prices to something appropriate for those oversized items. Whatever your contract prices are and agreed prices with that account, of course that is what you're actually going to change these SKUs to be priced. That is how you update the general SKUs for this copied product that we're preparing for this preferred customer. As I said, the last step then is in the stores tab area. So as you can see, the stores is still locked at $25 as well. You can unlock it here and you can go into the SKUs for the store and unlock it. But remember I talked about how everything is cascading. So if I want, I could just unassign it temporarily by unchecking this, clicking update, unassign it from the store, and then reassign it to the store, and it will go ahead and use the general data and general SKU pricing. That's the general data price, and here's the general store price within the SKUs. The only reason not to use the shortcut I just showed you of unassigning it from a store and reassigning it is if you've assigned custom fields, which might include decoration options such as embroidery. If you've assigned custom fields, please don't unassign a product from a store and reassign it just to update the price because you will lose all your custom field assignments and have to reset those as well. So it turns out to not be a shortcut. In any case, we've now created another product, a copy of the Julie that we've made specific for this preferred customer. The last step is to go back to the preferred customer module and assign that product to that preferred customer. So I clicked on home, I clicked on the preferred customer, I click on products right here, I go to the Bob's Dental Group, and then I'm going to search for the product that I want to assign. And in this case, it's that style 4051, product ID, match any, search. Notice how now it finds more than just this one, which we've already assigned to the group. It also finds the one that we created called Bob's Dental. So now I'm going to assign this one as well. Check that box and assign it. And now they're both assigned to Bob's Dental Group. Now if I go back here to Bob's Dental Group, You'll now see, when I refresh the page, that there's now two products assigned. They look identical, but one has the $25 price with 10% off being offered. The other one is this product, which we just created, which if I click on it, you'll see has no discount associated with it. It simply shows the customer the product at the agreed discount price of $19.95. 
If I were to choose black in 3XL though, you'll notice that it changed it to the special price of $23 that I had also entered in previously. That is how we assign products to a preferred customer group in the Uniform Market Store system. One is to just assign a straight discount percentage. The other is to create a copy of a product and change the pricing all the way through. Thank you.